All right, it's the rookie car hauler. I'm over here. I got um nine cars loaded on here. I mean, not nine, I'm sorry, eight. Is it eight? Yeah, three and five. So three on a tractor and um, three on a tractor and five on the trailer. I loaded it. Um, I was gonna put two on the tractor and, and, and six on the trailer, but I didn't wanna struggle uh, I've learned recently that it's easier to just put five on a trailer if you got, um, you know, a little bigger, bigger, bigger vehicles. I could have probably stretched that out, number four, stretch deck number four out with that van on there, pulled it forward, and then maybe gave me some more room in the middle and then put this uh, Jeep Wrangler all the way on the flip outs. And then I would have had enough space in the middle to probably put that accent right there at the end at number nine i could have put that accent in the middle but that's number one that's a stick right there that's a stick shift up there that jeep and uh, i've been having problems with these stick shifts uh as far as um because i'm so used to driving trucks that are stick shift apparently you know it's, it's totally different than cars i haven't driven a stick shift car in years you know what i'm saying so recently I've been getting, you know, you know, I get like maybe at least, at least I would say at least three stick shifts cars a week that will get there different days. There's never multiple stick shifts on the trailer. Most of the time I only got one, one manual um, out of all my cars. I would have like one manual and I normally put the manual at the end. Like that Jeep Wrangler is a manual, it's a stick shift. So I put them at the end because I have so much trouble with them. Like I can smell the clutch burning you know, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm revving it up too high and it's it's very, uh, it's very, um, seem like it's real sensitive. These stick shift cars are very sensitive. Like I'm, I do it, I drive them like I drive a, a stick shift truck, a 10 speed, you know what I'm saying? Truck or whatever, you know what I'm saying? 10 gear truck or whatever, um, you know, cause that's what I've you know, been used to driving for all these years is, is trucks that, that, this is an automatic here, this Volvo, but I've driven many automatics and I've driven many manuals and I'm used to driving manual trucks and you know with a manual truck is totally different than driving a manual car. You know what I'm saying? Um uh it's it's totally different. That's why when I was in school in uh truck driving school, Smith and Solomon, back in Philadelphia, uh years ago, um they were saying that they hate when guys come in there when 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 new truck drivers come to their school and they and they used to they, they drive a stick they know how to drive a stick because they thinking in their mind oh i know how to drive a stick so i'm gonna be, i should be able to drive this truck this manual truck but they said they hate that because now they got to unlearn and relearn type of thing because they thinking they're going to get in the truck and drive it the same way they drive these stick shift cars but anyway so i've been like i can smell the clutches burning every stick shift i get in when i get out of it i can smell the clutch burning and i stall at least once or twice i stall out in that in that jeep or in any stick shift I drive that's a car, I normally stall out at least once or twice. Um, Cause I'm, re I'm revving it up high. The clutch is very sensitive. Um, you gotta really, you gotta release your foot like all the way off the clutch in order for it to move. Whereas with a stick shift, you can you can rock it. When, it, when it's a truck, you can rock it and kind of play with it. And you don't, you know what I'm saying? You won't smell the clutch burning or whatever, but these things are sensitive. You know what I mean? These, these, these vehicles are sensitive with the stick shifts anyway. Um, I'm here at Carvana. I'm here at Carvana in Bessemer, Alabama. And, um, that's all I've been running. I've been running Carvana, you know, um, from, uh, from Atlanta to, you know, to, 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 from, to, from Atlanta to Bessemer, Alabama. And, um, for like two weeks, three, for like three weeks now, man. And I, I, that's why I haven't made no videos. Cause I've been so busy. Um, I just haven't had time. You know what I'm saying? It's a Carvana sign. I just haven't had any time to uh to sit down and like even now, like I'm I, I even now it's like, you know, I really don't have time to even make this video to be honest. But I figure, you know, I owe it to I owe it to um the viewers, you know, on YouTube, the people that's been viewing my channel and and, and kind of keeping up with what's going on. Um, I feel like I kind of, I feel like I kind of let y'all down a little bit because I feel kind of, in a way, kind of selfish, but I've, I've just been busy with work. I mean, like I've been working like 
seven days a week. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. Like, I think I took Friday off, you know, uh, as my cover for me last Friday. Um, but um, other than that, I've been extremely busy. And then I'm about to move. I'm in the process of moving. So I'm looking for a place every day when I get off of work. I'm tired and I go out, look for a place because my landlord don't want to renew the lease. So we're in the process of looking for a new a house to rent. So that's, you know, you know how stressful that is. And I don't have much time to do that. Meaning that my, I got like 45 days before my lease is up. So I've been extremely busy, man. Extremely busy um, in a good way and in a bad way. You know, so I'm making uh, a ton of money. I'm making a ton of money without a doubt. Um, but it's, 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 it's rough. It's not easy. You know what I'm saying? I got to wait for somebody to open this door. I don't know if it's open. Let me see. Oh, okay, it's open already. It's good. I'm really low. Yeah, so it's really, 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 it's been, it's been rough uh, over the past in a good way because it's always good to be busy. I'm here at the Carvana. It's always good to be busy, but it's been rough um, as far as my personal time and, you know, trying to get things done and, uh, you know, stuff like that's real hard on your body, but it's all good. And I don't, I don't really have no complaints. I'm happy. I asked for this. You know, I asked for this. I prayed for this. I prayed. My wife prayed for this. And now it's here. So we got to take full advantage of it. When I say pray for it, I mean, you know, we ask for our wealth to be increased okay. and for our, you know, to be able to generate a, a substantial amount of income to really, you know, to better my family's uh, economical situation and whatnot, you know, as far as the living quarters and to get a, you know, reliable, more reliable transportation, put my car in the shop, things of that nature. You know, we all, we pray for this and then now it's here. So we got to just take full advantage of it. You know, um, thanks to West Carriers after my Lord, you know, West Carriers is really, you know, taking care of me over here. You know, with asthma, my buddy, you know, <clears throat> so um, how's the experience different from United Road? Many of you know, I started out with United Road and uh, that's somebody leaving. I started out with United Road. That's a probably owner operator. You only got a couple cars. I started out with United Road and they showed me the ropes. They schooled me. I learned a lot from them. Them are them are Carvana trucks over there. All Carvana trucks. They got a bunch of trucks. Stingers over there. I started out with United Road. They schooled me. I learned a lot from them. And then um, you know, I came back over here with West Carriers, which is where I was at doing with the dually. Asma was showing me some dually work before I even went to United Road. Um, anyway, I'm here now. I'm happy. Like I said, uh, as far as money go, it, it you know, uh, money-wise, if it get any better than this, man, you know, man, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be like a dream come true. You feel me? But anyway, y'all take it easy. It's the Rookie Car Hauler. I'm back on the scene. I'll touch base later. Take it easy.